Welcome everyone, welcome to our next session of this series of the interview. Today we have a wonderful person with us, Dr. Murthy Gudipati. Welcome to this our uh, session. Uh, so, Dr. Murthy Gudipati is an astrochemistry, he do the uh, laboratory astrochemistry at um, JPL which is uh, at California Institute of Technology. Uh, he started his, he studied his PhD at IISC Bangalore. Later he moved to US for his postdoc and once he finished his postdoc he was there in University of Cologne in Germany and later he joined uh, in his current position and currently he is uh, associated with this um, Europa Clipper who which is going to the um, Europa one of the uh, moons of the Jupiter and the mission is scheduled in 2023. Yeah, let us just say the rough timeline. So yeah, I am very happy to have him today and thank you so much for agreeing this and taking time from a busy schedule. <laughs> thank you Ruth. Yeah. Um, so uh, yeah, Jet Propulsion Laboratory is a NASA center mm -hmm. and it is maintained by California Institute of Technology. Okay. So okay. We, we, ha we are uh, both NASA and Caltech. Okay, that is yeah. lovely. Yeah. And uh, a disclaimer is that uh, yeah. uh, the opinions that I expressed today mm -hmm. are not uh, the official opinions of either NASA okay. or JPL okay. or Caltech. Okay. So they are opinions. my own personal opinions as Complete. a scientist and as a human being. Completely. Now agree. go ahead and take <laughs> over. <laughs> Completely. Agree. Thank you so much for the clarification. So I would just ask you your first question. Um, you did study your PhD at ISC Bangalore, but I think you you were uh, not from Bangalore. You started your journey, I would say, let's say, all the way from Vijayawada and now to the California. It is it's a long journey I would say. I can probably understand the struggle up to certain level and how was the whole experience? Yeah, actually uh, Vijayawada uh, was not my starting point. Okay. The starting point uh, was a very, very small village in the s southern India. Okay. Uh, so from there uh, uh, we moved to Vijayawada. Mm -hmm. Uh, because of my father had a job there mm -hmm. and then uh, we ma moved back to small villages again and I went around in, in these villages <laughs> when I was in the school. Mm -hmm. uh, then Vijayawada became uh, the place where I did my bachelor's okay. and um, after that I went to Hyderabad to do masters okay. and Indian Institute of Science for PhD mm -hmm. and then later on you know uh, my journey yeah. to the you know uh, to the world started. Okay. Um, so uh, it is all a much more a random walk than a targeted uh, okay. you know uh, nice. uh, that is important actually for the younger generation to understand mm -hmm. that it, it is okay to dream to have a target and destination to you want to reach yeah. but it is even more important to actually have each step of your path to be more of uh, a focus for your activity. Completely uh, sometimes your target may change completely mm -hmm. as you start walking towards or uh, working towards the target. Yeah. And so, yeah, uh, I was fascinated uh, by, uh, let's say, astrophysics. In those days, I didn't know that astrophysics existed. Mm -hmm. I was a child in this one of the small villages. <laughs> uh, we used to go out and, uh, you know, uh, into the fields for harvesting, and then sleep there in the night, and the whole sky yeah, was filled with stars. There was no space left behind. I was fascinated. And so that was a time when I started thinking that I, I must do science. Okay. And I, that was definitely there. I, mm. was, I was clear about my decision to study science when I was probably less than 10 years old. Okay, that's okay. really clear. And, and that was, yeah. And then I proceeded in that direction. Mm -hmm. And there were a lot of obstacles. Yeah. You know, there were, uh, I don't want to go in detail to these obstacles, but I think if anyone thinks that uh, their journey is difficult, think that there will be at least 10 more people whose journey would have been even more yeah. difficult. So that means they are not the only ones. They are one. not the they only are ones. They are, are many. The, exactly. Yeah, so okay. be, be, be strong and move forward. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, after my PhD at IAC, I went to um, uh, uh, Austin, Texas mm -hmm. to, to, to work in low temperature chemistry. Yeah. Uh, and that's where I met my wife. Okay. 
uh, and then we moved to Germany. Okay. Exactly. And in Germany, I did my habilitation, which is like 10 year track. Mm -hmm. Uh, and after habilitation, uh, in, again in the low temperature uh, physics. Okay. Uh, then I went to a Gordon conference, met a NASA scientist called Lou Alamondola. Okay. He also does uh, astro astrochemistry. Wonderful. And uh, he liked the work that I was doing, so okay. we started collaborating. Lovely. And after some time, I ended up being at NASA Ames. Okay. And then subsequently at JPL. Mm. So Wonderful. As, as simple as that. So it was your work which takes you to the places and which gave you the opportunity. And currently, you are also closely uh, so you are in this Europa Clipper mission, which is like yes. one of the most fascinating, let's say, missions of our generation. And obviously, when when we talk about such a high-profile mission, there are thousands of complications involved, and probably you are also experiencing them because you are closely associated with them. So. When it comes to this kind of challenges, sometimes you know we we can get the solution very quickly. Most of the time, it happens that we have to work on it, work on it, and it's a whole process. How do you keep your motivation up throughout your process? Because it's sometimes you know it, it gets tough. It's really get tough to just stand and look into the things and get the clear picture and get the solution. So how, what's how do you? handle those things so th this is about uh, uh, being being uh, resilient mm -hmm. you mean uh, you're not asking me about uh, uh, how what is what is fascinating what is challenging about Europa clipper or what is challenging in in your career to be I would say that okay so it's a little bit mixture of both yeah so, so let us let's divide into two. Yes. Yeah. So let's just go with your first one, and then we'll go with the Europa second Clipper. question. Yeah, yes. Okay. Yes. So uh, you know, in your career, uh, or in you know every part of your life, mm -hmm. uh, everything is not just some something that is served and you go and get it. True. It is you go through ups and downs. It's a ro ro roller coaster. And um, what is important is to keep. Uh, not only your goals, you know, straight in your mind mm -hmm. and, and, and work for it. Mm -hmm. For example, if going gets tough, then what one should do is focus True and that. let all the other activities be low in their mm -hmm. priority. Mm -hmm. Give the highest priority to what oh, you're doing. Yeah. And then uh, sometimes you, you, there's, you always have to have a way out. Yeah. The most of the frustrations come from when people don't have a way out. Mm -hmm. Okay, you always want to have a way out. That means at every point you want to ha reassess mm -hmm. your 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 Good. priorities and have plan A, plan B, plan <laughs> C, plan D. Backup okay. plans. Finally, you also want to have good friends. Yeah. Uh, have a social networking so mm -hmm. that uh, you know you can discuss the problems and others may also have the same problems and things like that. So you have a community, let's say, uh, help yeah. accessible. Okay. Now, uh, working in a mission, uh, the Europa mission is uh, the second mission in which I'm working. Yeah. Uh, Rosetta mission was the first, first one. one. Uh, and uh, the most important thing for a mission is diversity. Mm -hmm. And uh, we we have I've, I have experienced diversity both at uh, Rosetta as well as Europa Clipper. Okay. Because you bring people with the different thinking, different cultural backgrounds, different way of approaching a problem, problem. but diversity also brings complications True. because you need to interact <laughs> with people who have different Agreed. you know your different way of expressing. Some are gentle, some are you know, soft spoken, mm -hmm. some are aggressive, yeah. th though they may not be aggressive. So you need to listen, you need to understand, mm -hmm. and you need to sort of try to understand what each and every one is telling you. For me, the most challenging thing is human human interactions yeah. in a complex mission. Yeah. Now, uh, that is actually a very educational format. Mm -hmm. uh, and that, once we master that one, we can communicate very well with a diverse group. Yeah. And then, so the mission can be actually a, a, a very, uh, let's say, uh, pleasant place to, let's say, work for. Mm -hmm. okay. Then the other things that come with the mission are every day you get up and you find that things are changing. Yeah. 
They are not as you want. Quickly. Like they're, they're changing, they're not under your control. And sometimes they're under your control, but you cannot do anything. Mm -hmm. And so there are problems coming up. There are scientific problems, there are technical problems, there are um, you know, managerial problems. Mm -hmm. uh, and so you need to be not only doing your job yeah. in the big, big you know, the mission scenario, but you need to understand every aspect of it, mm -hmm. especially those people who are involved in you know, science and leadership and you know, bringing people together. Yeah. And so that is really fascinating for me. I, I, I really enjoy, I'm a uh, uh, composition working group uh, yeah. uh, co-lead. Okay. So uh, we try to define the problems of uh, how do we uh, use this mission to understand the composition mm -hmm. of Europa? Yeah. Uh, and so we, 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 we come up with uh, methods yeah. and we look at science, what was published. Okay. And so th th that's a fascinating aspect about that. But you need to be resilient, in, uh, you need to be open minded, and you need to come up with out of the box solutions. Creative thinking. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's really yeah. important. I agree yeah. today yeah. as well. Uh, yeah. And I think you are also advising a lot of uh, PhD students and master students in your th throughout your career. So you do have the experience of uh, working with this different age group, let's just say, throughout your life. And um, so what advice you would like to give them when they are struggling or what advice you give to your student when you know, they are stuck or they are just not able to get things on the right way? How do you tell them to approach those things and keep up their spirit high? Um, the, uh, you know, the, the, the doing, let's say, doing PhD yeah. or, or any other thing is not, again, something that you try first and you get it. Yeah. So it is a process of learning that, uh, as we discussed, uh, you know, on the other Indeed. day. Um, so uh, my approach is actually let them find a solution until they f they tried it mm -hmm. and did not find a solution and come to me mm -hmm. then I actually help them yeah or give them actually the guidance to go and get the solution yeah but not give them the solution beforehand yeah True. so that you need to learn the process mm -hmm. of uh, getting the solutions rather than um, being given the solution so that uh, you know you you can put it in a paper and then publish it. True. So that's the that's that's the way uh, I deal with uh, and, yeah. and 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 uh, but um, uh, the the advice that I give to uh, anyone mm -hmm. uh, is uh, be resilient. You know, be resilient, and we all went through tough times. Yeah. Uh, True. Oh, and uh, you know, have some, uh, have some, uh, you know, other, other activities. Yeah. You know, yeah. I completely agree with that because yeah. when I'm a little bit lost or I'm not able to do something, I just try to take a walk, talk with somebody, or just sketch or do th this kind of my hobby. But yeah, being resilient and just a little bit of keep pushing will definitely take us someday at the point where we feel like no, the journey which we have taken is definitely worth taking all those uh, stress or I would say all those strength problems is something was worth when we look back yeah. to the one day. Yeah, and so. in fact, you know, uh, what is important is the goal, you, you cannot be obsessed with the goal. Yeah. You have to be, uh, you know, uh, looking at everyday success. Okay. Uh, that's important because goal, goals will change. We we, yeah. we all change True our that. goals, okay. True that. And w by the way, when you said taking walk, I remembered uh, every student that comes to my lab for the first time. Mm -hmm. I tell them, in the lab, if if you're tired, or if you had a bad day, or if you, if you if you got into some kind of problems, any mm -hmm. kind of problems, first thing that you do is to close off everything what you're doing, go out, mm -hmm. take a walk drink a coffee or do whatever you want to do mm -hmm. because if you are in the lab and if you are not fully attentive it's uh, it is uh, hazardous for you and need. and for the equipment yeah and so there it's not worth doing that so yeah, yeah, yeah. True. so yeah that's something really wonderful you know, piece of advice and it was really nice that you 
agree to sit with us and share your opinions regarding your life, your experience with the with us. I really feel like you know I, I got released a couple of good tips from you which earlier I used to follow it but sometimes no, no not consciously but now I think I would really love to follow them whenever I feel like oh things are not working or so, I really so, looking forward for that. So for that actually yeah. I wrote something. Yeah. I will look into it. Yeah please and I'll please, read please it go out ahead. Because I may actually uh, I thought I may forget them. Yeah yeah no no, so no please please go ahead. We'd love to listen. This is this is these are few things. They may actually help people. Okay? Yeah. And that's love why. To hear them. Let us look into this. Yeah. Um, first thing is keep calm. Okay. That's the most important thing when things get difficult. Mm -hmm. Second thing is when you go through tough times, focus, reduce other activities as I said, yeah. and work hard until you find a solution. Finally, Sense. never give up. Most important one. Only, I used to only pause yeah. and gain energy yeah. and then come back stronger. Okay. Perfect. So, this looks like a whole package of the, you know, yeah, yeah. the whole energy energy package, I would say. Yeah. Very and yeah. Uh, if you want to be successful, mm -hmm. typically we ex our expectations of others are higher yeah. than on ourselves. Revert <laughs> them. Yeah. Revert yeah. them. True that. Your expectations have to be higher on you. Oh, okay, then you'll be then you'll be successful. Mm -hmm. Second thing is be your best. Yeah. And deliver two hundred percent, not hundred percent. True. And uh, third thing is every day you reprioritize your activities. Mm -hmm. okay. That way you know what it is there. You okay. you're checking yourself. Mm -hmm. And I think we mentioned we we, uh, we we touched upon dream big. Yeah. But have a that should be your plan A. Yeah. But have plan B, C, See, D. See, backup plans ready. In your pocket. Yeah. Yeah. And be resilient. Okay. Your dream, <laughs> job, or goal is important, mm -hmm. but it is less important than your day-to-day -day achievements. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Wow, this is something really wonderful. I um, thank you so much for wonderful pointers. This is like you know whole energy package. So whenever I'm confused or I feel like oh things it's it's okay, or I'm not feeling motivated. I'm really use one of them definitely. <laughs> Absolutely. So thank you so much for sharing your experience, giving us such a wonderful advice, and I hope that you know so the students nowadays who are feeling any of the issues or any problems during their career. They can get motivated via the stories and your yeah. suggestions. Don't, don't worry about uh, your weak points. Yeah. Work on them. Perfect. That's it. Be be strong. That's be, wonderful. Be, be confident. Yeah. Very nice. Thank you so to much. You. Thank you so much. Sir. We are really happy to have you here. See you around. Thank you. Thank you.